Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. So Kawhi Leonard came out blasting the NBA for the new load management rules. And am I surprised? No, because he's the main culprit for load managing. Kawhi is always load managing, so it's only right that he would come out and complain about the NBA putting a rule in place that would stop him from load managing. Because Kawhi Leonard load manage every chance he gets. If he has a chance to sit out, he's going to sit out. Even if he's fine and there's nothing wrong with him. So now he comes out complaining. He has an issue with the new rules. Me personally, I am glad the NBA finally put their foot down. Enough is enough. The load management rule makes sense for somebody like Kawhi. Who only played 52 games last season. So he missed 30 games. He only played 52 games last season. And he still got injured in the playoff. Regardless of all that resting, load managing. So now here goes Kawhi crying. You know, moping about the rules. Because it's going to affect him sitting out games. Going on vacation during the NBA season. I am for any rule that's going to force the players to play. Any rules that's going to compel the players to get on the court and lace them up, I am all for it. We know when Kawhi is fully healthy, he's arguably one of the best two-way players in the league. We all know this. But he is never healthy or he's unable to stay healthy for a full season. It's impossible. Hence why the Clippers are unable to win a championship. Because of Leonard's durability. He can't stay healthy. He's always injured, missing months and years all the time. And when he is available and he could play, he sits out intentionally. So the NBA, you know, putting rules in place to kill all this load management is great. It's great for the entire league and it's more so great for the fans. But am I surprised Kawhi would have an issue with it? No, because it's affecting him and he's the main person who's always load managing. If Kawhi is able to partake in load managing, he will partake. So, you know, a few months back, the league, you know, they created the load management rule and they had a certain stipulation in place, like no NBA team is allowed to load manage two stars at the same time. Example, Kawhi and Paul George, they can't load manage at the same time if they're available. Same thing with LeBron and AD. So the new rules states that you could only rest one player at a time. So you can't load manage both your players because, you know, we're trying to preserve them. You can't do that. Not anymore with the new rules. So, of course, Kawhi is going to have an issue with all these rules and stipulations. The NBA has placed a lot of rules in place that will affect Kawhi Leonard and anyone load managing moving forward. So the NBA is basically incentivizing all these players to get on the court which is a great thing. So according to Kawhi, he said no policy will help him play more games. Basically, he doesn't care if there's a policy in place. He's not going to play if he doesn't want to play. Rules or no rules. So this is what Kawhi Leonard had to say. If the league is trying to mock what I did with the Raptors, it should stop because I was injured during that whole year. I worked out every day in the summertime to play the game, not to sit out and watch others play. No league policy is helping me to play more games. So that's what Kawhi had to say. It is clear that Kawhi Leonard is unhappy with the new policies regarding star participation. And of course, he feels like he's being targeted. I mean, I'm sure he's not the only one that's being targeted. At the end of the day, the NBA is a business. They have a product to sell. and You want to put the best product on display, right? So you can't have this league where people could sit out whenever they want. They could play whenever they want. Dudes could go on vacation whenever they want. You can't have that. So of course, the NBA is trying to clean up the product, you know, make the games more palatable for all the fans. And it's understandable. Ultimately, the league want all the star players across the league to play more games. And that's what it comes down to. Playing more games, being available, or playing when you're available. That's all it is. Especially with all these disgruntled fans who are paying for season tickets, buying merch. We have to make sure our customers are happy. 
we have to be mindful of the product we put on display. So they came up with the load management rules and all the other stipulation within the CBA to make the game better for everybody. So I understand and I'm all for it. I'm tired of seeing these dudes load manage. Enough with the load management. If you're going to get hurt, you're going to get hurt. If you're not injured and you could play, get on the court. Stop worrying about, you know, I'm trying to preserve myself. The only person I would give a pass somewhat is LeBron because he's almost 40. He's the only person that would get a pass. If you're not LeBron, cut all that load management crap out. Get on the court. If you are unaware or you're living under a rock somewhere, last season in the playoff, Kawhi tore his meniscus, you know, so he played one game and he was out the entire playoff. But he should be good to go for this upcoming season. And I am hoping he could play as much game as possible. No more load managing because he did that last season. They tried to load manage. They went with that whole strategy. We're going to load manage, rest them. He's not going to play back to backs, yada, yada. And he still got hurt. So with all that being done, the man still end up injured and he had to miss the entire playoff. So I hope this season they just let him play. If he's available, let him play. There's no point in load managing him because the proof is in the pudding. It don't work. He still get hurt anyway. We'll see what happens in the upcoming NBA season. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share. Holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'm going to say it. It's all about the game.